Hello, welcome to Storytime. I'm Tammy at the library. Our first book today is about the zoo. Eloise visits the zoo. My name is Eloise. I'm a city child. I'm also an animal lover. I love Weenie, my dog. I love Skipper D, my turtle, and I love, love, love going to the zoo. It is summertime, I say to Nanny, the perfect time for going to the zoo. Nanny and I wear our safari best. We wear our safari hats and our safari vests. And of course, we bring our safari camera and our binoculars. There's so much to see at the zoo. To Africa first, Nanny, I say. Nanny and I study the lowland gorillas. We say hello to the lions. The giraffe tries to lick my hat, hand. No, 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 Eloise, says Nanny. Oh, I love, love, love giraffes. To Australia now, Nanny, I say. Nanny and I take pictures of the kangaroos. We stretch the koalas. Oh, we sketch the koalas in their eucalyptus trees. Here, Nanny, I say, would you like to feed the lorries too? No, 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 Eloise, says Nanny. Oh, I love, love, love lorries. To North America, I yelled to Nanny. We howl along with the gray wolves. We search for the black bear. We visit the petting zoo. May I take a billy goat home, Nanny? I ask. No, 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 Eloise, Nanny says. Oh, I love, love, love billy goats. To the nursery last, I say to Nanny. We sing to the baby chimpanzee. I whisper hello to the sweet, to the sleeping wombat. I volunteer, a volunteer asks Nanny if we would like to see the new baby elephant. Oh, yes, Nanny and I say it together. Oh, I love, love, love the zoo. A children's zoo. Black, white, waddles, penguin. Big, smooth, swims, hippopotamus. Striped, black and white, gallops, zebra. Big, white, growls, polar bear. Sleek, black, swims, sea lion. Strong, shaggy, roars, lion. Red, blue, squawks, parrot. Gray, wrinkled, trumpets, elephant. Black, white, furry, panda. Tall, spotted, Silent. Giraffe. That's the end. A children's zoo. All right. One more zoo book. The Opposite Zoo. The sky is dark and the opposite zoo is closed. But the monkey's door is open. Time to explore. Awake. Asleep. Hairy, bald, tall, short, shy, bold, soft, prickly, black, white, slow, fast, noisy, quiet, the sun is bright and the animals are ready. The monkey's door is closed just in time for the opposite zoo to open. There's the opposite zoo. I have one more book for you called Beaver Pond, Moose Pond. The 
Let me take you to the mountains, to a very special place, where for one whole day a beaver pond became a moose pond too. It was early in the morning. Beaver had been up all night, adding more sticks and mud to his dam. A higher dam held more water in the pond, and that is what Beaver liked. The pond was his every inch of depth, every ripple in the water, every bit of flooded meadow the beaver treated as his own. But to the other animals, it wasn't Beaver's pond. To the heron, who each morning watched the beaver retire to his lodge, the pond was his favorite place to fish and perch. It was the perfect heron pond. To the golden eyes, it was a great, pond, a great duck pond where they could drop in for a swim. And to the young bull moose, it was a place for moose to drink and wade and eat green water plants. It was a moose pond. A cow moose held her calf out of the forest, or led her calf out of the forest. Mother moose was wary of the bull out in the water. She and her calf lingered at the water's edge. Then something in the nearby woods was made a grunting sound. It was the biggest bull moose in the forest. The great big bull moose snorted loudly at the cow and calf, warning them to go away. Mother moose led her calf into the pond. The smaller bull was still feeding in the water. The wary cow moose kept the beaver's lodge between them. The calf liked being in the pond. He knew how to swim. He swam all afternoon just for fun, and later in the day swam in deeper water to escape the swarms of biting flies. When the sun was setting, the calf watched the evening swallows fly. Then at dusk, he and his mother left the pond to bed down in the woods. The young bull moose left also. The big old bull had the whole pond to himself. That is, until he saw the beaver swimming, rested, and ready for another busy night. The bull moose grunted loudly at the beaver. Moose pond, but the beaver would not go away. Beaver pond. Moose and beaver shared the pond, each waiting for the other to leave. Then finally, it was the moose who slowly walked away. The beaver stayed. It was the beaver pond. Every bit of flooded meadow, every inch of depth, and every ripple in the water. The end. Moose pond. Oh, beaver pond, moose pond. See you next time.